This is my real opening day. This is the day on the baseball calendar I had circled. Friday, the rest of the Twins system is in action, so all four full-season affiliates are in action. For the first time ever, we have Mighty Muscles Home Games broadcast available on MILB.TV. We have Walker Jenkins playing for the Mighty Muscles batting leadoff. Fourth start to get quick outs. I want drilled out to center field and deep. Jenkins on his horse towards the fence, and he reaches up to make a running catch. Walker Jenkins getting acquainted to the big outfield here in Fort Myers, takes a base hit away from Jasso. And with all the tools for Walker Jenkins that we talk about, the one that doesn't get mentioned enough is his speed. He's playing center field because he can flat out fly. Obviously hitting is his big thing, and that's going to be where all the headlines come Down from. Yeah, again, it doesn't look overly serious, but probably one of those soft tissue injuries that he'll just have to rest a little bit and come on back soon. Uh, Maddox Houghton will take his place in center field, and that's a pretty much a no-brainer for Brian Meyer. How well, I guess we'll just have to hope one of these other guys gets us excited. <laughs> so Jenkins has to leave in the top of the second. Well, you, you have to laugh. You have to laugh or else you're going to cry. Uh, here is the opening day lineup for the Mighty Muscles Oh, uh, man. Uh, don't have an update on that Jenkins injury yet. Um, we'll maybe relay in the comments if I see it. But Ross Dunn was the starting pitcher for the Mighty Muscles in their opener. Tenth round pick from last year from Arizona State. Uh, he pitched well. He struck out, I think, six batters in four innings. He actually threw a lot of pitch. He was out there a while. A lot of guys are not fully stretched out. Um, but Ross Dunn was out there for a while. As you're seeing, he's a left-handed pitcher. Topped out at 92.3 miles per hour. Again, Ross Dunn is his name. So we're going to be learning a lot of new names, seeing a lot of new faces around here. Rain Doan Cohn is one of those guys. This guy at third base making a great throw across the diamond. He was acquired in the Manuel Margot, a uh, Noel Miller trade. Uh, there you see there flashing his arm across the diamond, helping out Dunn there. But, again, was excited for Jenkins. Uh, we'll happily end the day talking about Byron Chirillo, who was amazing. He gets an infield single here draws a walk that was a pitch clock violation i don't know if because we say he draws the walk when it's a pitch clock violation he gets a walk long plate appearances though is kind of the point to take away here gets a single this was hit 103.9 miles per hour was the exit velocity on that so a very well struck single for trio and then in the bottom of the ninth inning with fort myers kind of hanging on to dear life in this game he falls down zero and two tough and these were, those were both in the zone, but they were pretty close. They were borderline. Battles back. Falls off a two-strike pitch. Again, this guy had a, gone to three ball counts in all of his other plate appearances so far. Just works it. Working it. Again, Byron Chirillo, speaking of trades, this guy was acquired in the trade that brought Pablo Lopez over. There was two prospects in that trade that sent Luis Rise to Miami. This guy was one of them. Not related to Jackson Trio, to my knowledge. Oh, by the way. Draws a walk. Falls down 0-2, draws a walk. Oh, by the way, he's 18 years old. Byron Trio, Looking like a pro. He swung nine times today and missed once. Look at that chart. 30 pitches he saw in his plate appearances. So, thank you for turning my night around, Byron Trio. <laughs> Oh, man, it was it was great. It was great watching baseball. That Jenkins news was tough to start out the night. But uh, moving on over to the wind surge, kind of doing these a little bit out of order, but I wanted to talk about Marco Ryan next. He started for them. Here is their opening day lineup. I think this entire lineup is guys who were on Cedar Rapids at least at one point last year. So that entire Midwest League championship team, lots of familiar names there. Always kind of weird seeing them guys move up and, and seeing them in new jerseys and new uh, new ballparks. Um, also, new, just a new jersey look for the wind surge right now. It's kind of a Minnesota Twins flair to it with the fonts. Mentioned I wanted to show Marco Raya. Uh, very excited the way he pitched today. They're still being careful with him. He only threw three innings. Missed a lot of bats. His slider was looking tremendous. Uh, this guy's got great breaking pitch. He also throws a curveball. He's got great breaking pitches. Um, you know, we're, we're going to look for him to go a lot more than three. Uh, hopefully they build him up early on here and kind of let him loose a little bit more this year. There you see him juiced up after striking out the side in the first inning. Great to see Marco Raya get off to a good start. The other big guy we wanted to watch in this one is Manuel Rodriguez making his double-A debut. 
Struck out looking in his first plate appearance. That's kind of a concern. He's very passive at times. Struck out swinging then in his second time around. Uh, chased something high. Drew a walk. Does plenty of that. Again, he's a very patient, almost to the degree where he's passive hitter. Steals second base as well. Uh, so getting it done on the bases. Did also strike out again later. So three strikeouts in this one. This is another one swinging where he's chasing a high fastball. Three strikeouts for Emmanuel Rodriguez. He struck out more often than we'd like. In in the mix here, we'll throw in Kalai Rosario, also making his double-A debut. He triples here is what they'll, they'll give him credit for. He didn't touch the glove. <laughs> Don't know what, what that was about, but <laughs> good on Rosario for hustling. Uh, you get to see some fun stuff in the minor leagues sometimes. Uh, he's got a big smile on his face. Uh, the dugout's loving it. So again, that was Kalai Rosario's. Double-A debut as well, along with Manuel Rodriguez. A bottom of the ninth inning. Winsurge trying to get a rally going, and Emmanuel Rodriguez hits a double, an opposite field double off the wall to score two runs, and he is fired up. He looks like he's in great. He looks like he's added muscle uh, to me, Emmanuel Rodriguez. He looks really in great shape right now. So some ups and some downs, but, you know, that's a pretty good way to end his evening with a two-run double to bring the Winsurge within striking distance in the bottom of the ninth. They did not complete the comeback, however, unfortunately, but, again, that's a nice way to end his double-A debut, getting pumped. Over to Cedar Rapids. Going to show each of these opening day lineups for these teams that uh, kicked things off today. Um, I'm really excited about Danny De Andrade uh, playing shortstop for them. A couple other guys moving up that we haven't seen a ton of, Ricardo Olivar, Luke Kieschel. Um, this is going to be a fun team to watch. going to be tough to replicate their success as a team from last year, I think. But, you know, if they get pitching like Andrew Morris uh, today, he struck out uh, six and four innings. Uh, kind of didn't labor, but he had to get out of a jam in the fourth inning there. You see he ends it with a strikeout with the bases loaded. Not a lot of offense going for Cedar Rapids. Here's Gabriel Gonzalez, another trade piece, guy who came over in the Jorge Polanco trade, getting his first hit in the system. Moving on over to the Saints, who, of course, we've seen a bit already this year, but I want to show Patrick Winkle. He went three for three. There was a single he had. He gets a two-run double here thanks to Deshaun Kersey Jr. scoring all the way from first base on this hit. That guy can really move, Kersey Jr. Uh, so Patrick Winkle, a catcher. All of a sudden, the Twins have pretty decent catching depth, and it's nice because there were many years they had to fill the Saints with a lot of kind of veteran, former big league catchers. They didn't really have any homegrown products that they could really put in AAA for a while. And they've got J.R. Camargo. They've got Patrick Winkle. Of course, Chris Williams and I Alex Isola catch a little bit. There's Winkle's third hit of the evening. Again, three for three. He's been hitting in the middle of that order, which kind of surprised me, but he must have shown Toby Gardner uh, something. Anyway, here is the breakdown of the starting pitchers. Again, a lot of these guys are trying to get stretched out. I was impressed that Ross Dunn threw 84 pitches, though. Um, a guy who has not pitched an entire you know, season, a uh, professional season, they're already having him go out and throw 84 pitches. That's a good sign uh, to me. Um, and moving on over to the notable hitting performances, a lot of these guys we saw. <clears throat> and again, man, Byron Chirillo, that's the guy who I came came away with today, just being really impressed with and really looking forward to, to getting more looks at. A switch hitter, oh, by the way, 18-year-old switch hitter, again, that the Twins acquired from Miami in the Luis Arise trade. Twins are off, Saints win, Surge, Colonels, and Muscles lose. So that is the rundown of the evening. We're doing this. We're doing this again tomorrow. We're doing this again tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this one, come on back. Consider subscribing if you haven't. We'll talk again tomorrow.